I feel like I haven't sat and talked in a while, but nobody would know that, so it's kind of foolish for me to say it. But I guess, I, yeah, I haven't really been pulling out the camera to record about my life because not much has really changed. Not much ever really does change, but I figured it would be nice to put together a little bit of something for my next real life video. I've been putting a lot of gaming ones up lately because those are so easy to make and yeah they're kind of effortless oftentimes so those are very fast ones but yeah sometimes adding in some real life is great so something i've actually been thinking a lot about today so the topic for today that i was thinking about a lot is sleep because yesterday so the way yesterday night went was i was streaming for a long time actually. I streamed for nearly six hours last night. So I was playing from maybe 6.30, close to seven until 1 a.m. ish. And I actually planned on stopping around midnight, but then I got invited to a party for Dota. And for me, I don't get invites to play with others often anymore for Dota. So whenever I do, I kind of like to not miss the opportunity to play. So. Even though I was planning on going to sleep, I decided to play one game and even still, I feel like it ended around 1 a.m. Maybe by the time I was in bed, it was slightly after 1 a.m. But the thing is that I am a little bit surprised about and I think it might just be specific to me. I feel like I got around seven hours of sleep last night, but today, even now, I feel so sluggish. I feel like dazed. The entire day I felt dazed and no energy and just feeling kind of crappy. Surprisingly, a lot worse than I expected for seven hours of sleep. So I started thinking about it a bit more and I just think that maybe it would be in my best interest outside of Dota events to try to make sure I get eight hours of sleep because the way I try to see it is even though that one game of Dota might have been really exciting and all of that. Look who we have here. Milo. So yeah, even though that one game of Dota might have been really fun at the time, and it definitely was, um, I don't think it's worth it to play something like that and sacrifice my sleep and then I tend to notice my next day sort of gets ruined because throughout the entire day I'm tired at work and if I'm tired at work I tend to think about less th pleasant things like oh I don't want to be here I end up thinking about that throughout the entire day and then it just makes work drag a little bit more and even when I come home afterwards for work I just have less energy less motivation to do stuff because I just keep thinking about the fact that I'm tired so I was starting to think that maybe I can try something where for an entire week, at least all the weekdays, I would try to make sure that I would get at least eight hours of sleep. And that basically means I should be in bed more than eight hours in advance because I'm not gonna fall asleep right away. So I wanted to try that because I want to see what my energy level is gonna be like, how I'm gonna feel, throughout the course of an entire week where I am rigid about my sleep schedule. But aside from the weekdays, I was also thinking on the weekends, I do like to stay up a little bit later. So I think for weekends, it's not as big of a deal as long as I do get the right amount of sleep duration wise. And I wanted to try this for the upcoming week. Although it really depends, I suppose, because next week there is ESL1 Birmingham, which is a Dota event in United Kingdom and there's also a very very small Dota event this weekend for two days It's called the Adrenaline Cyber League and Virtus Pro is playing there and it's just four teams Virtus Pro I'm really hoping are not declining because they didn't perform well at all at the last major They got like seventh to eighth place, which is pretty bad for a team like their caliber so I hope that with this event that they show some sort of dominance even though it's kind of hard to say because not the 
not every single best team is going to be there. In fact, most of the teams are going to be at Birmingham. That one LGD will be at, so that is one that I will focus on the most because with VP not going there, they're kind of the only team that is one of my favorites. Oh, and I guess one other thing that I did today is I got my properly sized helmet. I'm pretty sure I talked about it in a video, but basically I was having issues with my helmet where my GoPro on my chin mount was hardcore making my helmet tilt downwards and it started affecting my vision because I would start losing field of vision from the top because my helmet started being pulled down and from that I basically realized that my helmet is much too large and that I needed one smaller. So outside of in the future not putting a chin mount, I think for this one I will most likely use a side mount. But I decided to get the same model because I actually really liked that helmet and I decided to get white this time because I feel like graphics is just tricky because depending on what gear you're wearing, it might look kind of silly and doesn't match as easily because of the colors on your graphic. And I don't know, I feel like with the types of motorcycle gear there are out there, a lot of the graphics don't mesh that well with it. And actually, I was originally not planning on getting white because a lot of motorcycle gear is not fully white. It's kind of similar to um, computer peripherals where there aren't fully white things very easily. Nowadays it has gotten better, but a few years ago everything was still fully black. So that's very similar to motorcycle gear. Everything is black. If there's white, it's not all white. It's just white with black accents, red accents for girls, pink accents. So I was trying to think about how it would match, but I did actually see a leather jacket that is fully white with a little bit of black, much less black compared to the other one. So I would consider it fully white. So that might actually be a jacket I consider when I finally have the funds for a leather jacket. But in the meantime, I got this and it is an extra small and I did already sell off my other helmet. So I'm very, very, very curious to wear this tomorrow because I want to see if the proper fit will make the noise much less where I don't need to wear earplugs. That's something I'm very curious about. And just, I guess, aside from that, white is so clean. I love white in general. I do think this color matches much better with my bike compared to black, even though my bike also has black on it. Ah. <sighs> Damn, I really am tired today. This is ridiculous. I might have to sleep early today. Not even a might, I most definitely will. It just really depends on what I decide to do today. So I have been streaming for a few days now and it is really tempting at times to stream every day because I have the ability to do so. But honestly, for days like today where I'm tired and I am planning on sleeping earlier because I have my meeting tomorrow at nine o'clock. Normally I go into work at 10, so I'm able to stay up later. I am able to wake up later, but since I have to be at work one hour earlier than I normally go in, I need to sleep earlier. So I don't really know if I should stream today because whenever I come home from work, my plans are usually just like, what am I doing for dinner? Um, when am I gonna do my workout depending on when I eat? Because if I eat, I need to wait, you know, an hour maybe before I exercise, or maybe sometimes I like to work out before I eat, but it depends because if I ate last four hours prior, it sucks to work out in that condition. I actually did that yesterday. I worked out right when I got home and I lasted maybe 30 minutes before I was like, man, I really don't feel great because I was hungry. Um, I ate at 1 p.m. and I was working out at like 6 o'clock, so that's five hours without food. I just had no energy, so I was starting to feel a little bit lightheaded. So planning out stuff like that, and then I actually haven't watched a movie in a few days, so I was hoping to maybe get that in today. And then maybe after all of that, if I had like an hour or two, I'll stream. But the thing is that I feel like is very tricky about streaming is for some reason, the thought of streaming, sometimes you just feel like you wanna make yourself available for it all the time. You wanna be public 
and streaming all the time so more people can find you and then maybe your channel can grow faster but i need to remind myself those are not things that i really want to focus on they're not ones that they're not exactly my goal for what i plan on doing with streaming and i'd say my main curiosity with streaming is just to see how fast my channel can possibly grow if i don't follow the textbook streaming behavior i know that i have the freaking gender benefit but i'm still super curious to see what would happen even say in like a month or something so i actually will probably keep up with the stats i've been checking my stream summary every night just because it's really interesting to see stats are definitely really interesting I have been playing games a lot lately and that definitely makes me happy because it's still something I'm not too used to. And now I am going to do whatever little stuff that I can with this energy that I have left. And then I can probably follow up on my sleeping results because I'm tired, man. I'm so tired. Ready? Go. Oh, that was a bad throw. Yeah, oh, watch your face. I keep go hitting my phone. Good. Yeah, you know, I was actually considering bringing like a ball or something with me. I just don't like carrying stuff when I walk her, so I kind of just walked here without many plans. I wanted to check out this park, but I just always get paranoid there's people here, so hey. <laughs> so even if I got here, if there were people here, I probably wouldn't have stayed. But since there's absolutely nobody here, I figured it would be a good idea to let her run around, but I, <laughs> I think she's getting tired. I, and I don't have water on me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. Maybe just a little more, and then we go back. She's getting tired. First, we have basically been home the whole day. Man, so I needed to replace my handheld tripod for my camera, right? Because I lost it after coming back from Joshua Tree. But this one, I bought the exact same one, and this one is just less fluid, not as flexible, because you press a button and then you can basically rotate your camera in any different angle. And this one is so freaking tight. I don't like it. So yeah, so far today, I have been watching movies because I have actually been streaming a fair amount of hours. And I think in general, freaking Milo. I think in general, yeah. I think in general, I wanna keep my streaming for the evenings and try to you know do diverse stuff during the day especially because you know it's daytime if the weather is nice outside there's no way i'm gonna be sitting indoors streaming so yeah today is gloomy so i didn't really want to go out and i brought riley to a park yesterday to run around so i didn't feel like there was that need or desire to do it again today so we've just been chilling at home i watched book smart today which was terrible and oh god just awful <laughs> kind of sucks to watch us and then book smart both movies i really didn't like in a row and then my other movie was five feet apart which was a romance movie about people patients in a hospital that have cystic fibrosis so i didn't know anything about that illness so watching it kind of enlightened me and it was a bit of a sad story but I guess overall, it still felt a little cliche with the way that they made the movie. Um, some of the lines, uh, I don't know. I kind of wonder if it's possible for a romantic line not to sound corny because, you know, it's supposed to be meaningful and emotional. But sometimes some of these lines just comes across um, awkward for me to listen to. <laughs> so right now it's about 4.30ish. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I was thinking maybe I would watch one more movie because, yeah, I haven't been watching as many movies lately, so I don't mind watching 2.5 movies today. 
Booksmart, I washed half of it yesterday, so I only washed an hour of it to finish it today and then five feet apart. But for my third movie, I'm not sure what I want to do yet because I haven't watched Braveheart over yet. And that was a movie I've been wanting to watch over, but it's also three hours long. Maybe even a little bit longer than three hours. So that might be a little excessive for me today. And I might have that urge to watch something new. Most weekends, the great thing is that I'm able to do my workout early on during the day. And that way I can get it out of the way so I don't end up focusing on it because Oftentimes when I do an activity and I haven't worked out yet, I keep thinking about my workout and feeling anxious to do it. So it distracts me from what I'm watching or playing games and I might as well just work out early in the day so I don't have those thoughts clouding my mind when I'm doing stuff. On the other hand, my coffee plant has been doing so poorly. Look at all that brown. And this side doesn't look great either. It makes me sad I've been trying different things. So, Milo. I actually called the place that I got the plant from to ask for advice because I was saying, you know, I realized that it wants indirect light and I wasn't sure if I was giving it too much water and too little, but she actually recommended that I water it once a week. And something that I did not realize, which makes a lot of sense, is that right next to the window doesn't always mean it's direct sunlight because the front of my house has a little, um, whatever the fuck you call it, like there's a roof or something in front of my door. So the sunlight directly, it cannot physically come through the window. And I'm also facing north, so that's just also not possible. So any light that comes through the window is indirect light. So I put it directly in the window and I've been watering it much less, but I don't know how long it takes for the plant to um, recover from its bad state. So it really does make me sad. I would love to see it be fully green again, but I might consider repotting it also because I feel like it might just be a, a mess in there. But on the other hand, over here, my Chinese evergreen has actually been doing pretty well, I think. I think that this leaf up here might be new growth because a couple days ago, it was like rolled up like this and now it's full. And there's also, you know, little ones like these in here that is new growth. So I don't pay attention to it that much, but I'm super happy that for the most part, this one looks like it's doing great. And that gives me hope at least. If both of my plants were dying, that would be such a nightmare. So I'm sitting in the middle of the couch because my was taking up the right side and Riley is taking up my left. So hopefully the lighting over here is not as terrible. I have some rotisserie chicken that I'm eating, but I have just been crying a lot from the movie I was watching. I was watching Blue Jay. It's a movie written by Mark Duplass, and I've seen several of his work in the past before. And I usually really like um, his creative direction and stuff like that. So, God, it sucks. I hate it. Why are we designed to get stuffy noses when we cry? Oh, it's always such a frustrating thing for me because I feel like there's such a negative downside to crying because I don't like dealing with a stuffy nose, but at the same time, I don't think it makes sense to suppress it, so yeah, the movie was very similar to Before Sunrise, After Sunset, Before Sunset, that whole series with Ethan Hawke and Julie Delpy, Delphi, 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 but basically Mark Duplass and Sarah Paulson were the basically the only two actors in the movie, and they played uh, childhood sweethearts that meet up many years later and basically the movie was just one day of them together. It's very similar to Before Sunset where what you're watching is just them clicking, interacting with each other and it's so sweet to see that because at least in this one it's like years later and you just see how they're still so compatible, they have the same sense of humor and they still care about each other a lot. So. It was 
sweet and it made me cry a lot and I'm still feeling <laughs> emotional over it so I'm in a mood right now where I was thinking of playing a game or streaming but I probably don't want to while I look like this and I don't know my motivation is kind of low right now mainly because I feel like when I get in this mood I kind of want to just relax and watching is much less effort than gaming at times so if I were to play Dota it would be ranked and that takes a lot of brain power <laughs> so I don't know if I'm in the mood for that right now um, I'm kind of tempted to get bubble tea but I got some yesterday and right now I feel like I'm in a really great pit right now I feel like I'm in a really great place with my body where bubble tea two days in a row might not be the best idea but at the same time I have been doing my workouts daily basically like 40 minutes of a workout and then sometimes I add in a little bit of cardio so I just I've been really happy about my effort <laughs> so I'm trying to self-control so I don't ruin it with my bubble tea obsession but I yeah <laughs> sometimes I just wonder you know it's sad when two people really love each other and uh, there are other things that prevent them from being together for some reason, that scenario just makes me so sad. <laughs> it makes me so sad. It's like the same feeling I'm feeling right now from um, Call Me By Your Name. That movie was a similar scenario. And oh no, I don't know if I should keep recording. I'm just getting emotional. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I'll end this here. I have uh, exciting Dota next week starting on Tuesday, so. Let's focus on that and not feeling sad. <laughs> so um, I hope people enjoy their long weekend. And yeah, I'm going to end this here because I'm just feeling emotional now. <laughs> so goodbye. And uh, for those that have stopped in to watch my stream, thank you for dropping by. And thank you for your keeping me company. Thank you for having conversation with me and everything um, I hope that you guys have been enjoying it and I will definitely try my best not to do stuff that I don't want to do and make sure that I uh, approach it in a way where I will have fun with it and it won't be you know something I end up feeling obligated to do which is actually kind of true in a situation like this like for example today I'm not necessarily sure if I feel like streaming, um, there were times today where I was like, you know what, I kind of feel like playing Dota, but I don't know if I want to be on camera. So there are times like that, and I will have to figure out a balance for how to approach that. Because right now, I kind of feel like if I'm playing a game, I might as well stream it, but that's not always true because I might not have the energy to interact. But also at the same time, if I don't have the energy to interact as much, I just don't have to do it as frequent as usual even if I am streaming so yeah just need to be myself and uh yeah thanks for watching <laughs>